Hello there, today I'll be showing you how to create um, materials and substance designer using color IDs. In this video I, I actually assume you already know some um, basic stuff in substance designer. Um, I'll start by creating a wall in 3D Max, just a, a box. Um, so we could use it and compare materials on it. Um, Okay, so that's our wall. And so, yeah, so in this wall, if we just wanted a half and half texture, like a split texture, maybe like a brick wall up here and a different material here, like concrete or something, here, uh, all we have to do is in Substance Designer, we would, um, uh, let's start by creating a new substance. I usually use metallic and roughness. 512 is okay. And uh, so the output notes in the roughness material, I just uh, I usually put in a uniform color. Is it uniform color? What I did there is click on it and hit spacebar. It's going to bring up these options. Click uniform color and set that to white because uh, the wall's not supposed to be smooth and metallic. And so I'll just set this to grayscale and black. All right, so we have a smooth wall to duck those. Just hit D to duck. It looks much cleaner that way. All right, so what we want to do is I'll just start by searching for a brick. Use this one right here and a concrete. Let's say this one. Okay, so we have these two materials, and you know, um, our output, we just have only one base color, so sometimes you just have the option of either choosing this one or this one. So all we actually want to do, if you want it, uh, like a 50-50 texture, half brick, half concrete, here, and all you need to do is bring use a symmetry, symmetry slice here. Might need two of those, so Control D to duplicate that and plug the base color of this in here and symmetry all right so once you have the base color in there i'll just go ahead and put this as the output all right so you see it hasn't really affected the material at, at all what you have to do here is select this and move the symmetry mode make sure it's 4 and the transfer mode is 2 and you see it's kind of vertical right now so we could apply a 2d transform transformation 2d and rotate 90 degrees so it's at the bottom right now D again to duck makes it much cleaner okay um, actually we don't want to do that here because we need to like apply a blend material to blend um, both materials before going to the base color. So we'll plug this one in here and do the same thing. Symmetry mode to four, transfer mode to two. All right, so that's what we have it right there. And uh, again, 2D transformation to just rotate it until you kind of have it on top. Okay, all right, so just delete, oh no, just delete this node right here, okay, and what we're, we're going to um, add a blend to it, I j you just hit spacebar, it's going to bring up the options for blend, here, so we're going to plug this one in here as the foreground, and we're going to plug this one in here as the background, and we'll push out to the base color. Notice how we still have this one because it's uh, it's currently using blend mode as copy so the foreground is going to be the dominant material it's just going to overshadow this even though we have the symmetry so all you have to do is the blend mode you need to change it to add linear dodge and now you just have this material right here let's export that to 3ds max and see what it looks like so I'll just right click on this new graph export as bitmaps destination uh, texture whatever 
you, you could always create your destination and just output it there. I, I just need the base color or the diffuse map right now. So I'll just save all. And open up the texture. Open up 3D Max. And drag the texture onto your wall. Oh, first we... <sighs> okay. I didn't even look at that. So you notice how the brick wall is just kind of... Is horizontal. Or vertical rather. And... All you have to do is apply a 2D transformation at the start here before it gets to this and now it's this way. You can apply a 2D transformation here and also rotate it till you get the results you want and export as bitmaps again. Save and it should update in 3D Max. Okay. Right, so we have this half in half wall and uh, it's, I'll just quickly apply UV unwrap here so I could yeah, so it's not all blurry on the sides. So selection and we're just gonna select the faces and quick planner all the sides so they are all seamless. And uh, Alright, that's all you need to do. Alright, so we have this uh, seamless wall right now. But what if you actually wanted an effect, something like uh, maybe like a gre greater offset between the materials? Let's say. Uh, hopefully, you'll find something. Yeah, something like this. You, you, you want uh, uh, the top material to have a greater percentage uh, than the greater percentage than the second material down here so in 3d max uh, the way to achieve that is I'll just go back to the default standard materials on here is create actually use an edge and connect it and kind of slide that down so it's not just at the center maybe slide it to it's around here that's fine in F4 to show the edge mode. Okay, so we want a different material like the bricks up here and the concrete below. So I'm gonna select polygon, select the first one, bring up our material editor again, and I'll just change the color of this diffuse material to something like purple, and hit OK, and apply assign material to selection. We're still in polygon mode, I'm just gonna select the one below, and switch materials, change the diffuse to maybe green and apply to assign material to selection. Okay. Alright, so we now have uh, these two materials. It's it's one texture, so it all of them it's gonna apply to uh, apply to the back as well. What we have to do is render that to texture, go to rendering, render to texture, or, or hit zero on your keyboard, and make sure you select the object so it just shows up. And we're going to use the existing channel since we did the unwrap ourselves. And we're going to add uh, just a diffuse map on there. And PNG, make sure we know where we save it. I'll just put it on my desktop, desktop and select wall. Hit OK. 5 went is fine. And render. Okay. Okay, now we see we, we kind of have a really weird texture around here. Uh, that's because we have all we still have all the sides, so it's just kind of rendering all the sides out. I, what I usually do to like trick it is like just delete those polygons around here and just leave just delete this one and just leave it so it just thinks it's a face we plan on using. So it just renders this one and override the file it we just have this plain texture instead of it just trying to um, squeeze in other textures around it squeeze in other faces around it all right so we have a wall around here but we have a problem we have this uh, it's it, we have transparency on the side and substance designer is it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna read that transparency and we don't want that since it's the 512 texture we're gonna just have a plain uh, transparent area around here so what I usually do is bring that into Photoshop mark your select tool I'm just trying to eyeball it there 
select this and use the pet bu paint bucket tool and I to select this color and G to go back to it and just fill both areas and you hold you use control shift I to in to have an inverted selection I to select this green and G for the paint bucket tool and we'll just apply the color both sides D and we'll just save it out so now we have a nice a nice texture there I'll just bring this inside a uh, substance designer put it in and import resource okay and now we do not need all this blend and transform or transformation 2d stuff anymore so we'll just delete that what we need right now and it's actually a mask let's color to mask is it color no um, I think it's a blend material adjustment okay that's that's a great grayscale mask so I think it's called multi-material um, oh yeah it's it's a multi-material it's gonna have a color ID here I'll just move this around a bit we'll just um, plug the color ID in here okay and we have a we'll just bring down this butt materials and the base color you can put it any way you want I just put in diffuse too and this one second one just put it a diffuse one right here if you have more materials you could always click on this and select the number of materials you want but since we have just two we're just gonna use two and material two what we have to do here is okay let's just from the diffuse texture we'll just plug it as the base color here you notice we still have one material showing that's because we've not picked the color for it yet so material to select it we'll have to pick its color and it's this one right here oh, no actually we'll just pick the top color okay so we now have a brick material on there and we have the concrete selected on here and so that's how it works basically and we, we're gonna export this as bitmaps again as it's just gonna app override that one that's fine mm, not, not all okay and uh, just save this and we're gonna bring it back to 3d max and see what it looks like and drag it in there and you notice it oh wow we needed to do something first that's bring or uh, use control Z to bring back your polygons before you apply the texture alright so we see it has applied that to our wall and it's exactly at the same spot we, we left it that's the edges we the polygons we selected for it so this is it with just the color ID and this is it with the material just at the same spot so that's how it's done and if you found this helpful please like and subscribe and leave uh, feedback in the comment below thank you bye